Hey, it's Anthony here from iBlock, and today we have a 2019 Toyota 4Runner, and we're going to be installing our low leveling system. This 4Runner is on our Pro Truck Coilover 2.0 in the front, and our Pro Lift Kit Springs in the rear. As you can see, the vehicle is a little higher in the front as compared to the rear, so we're going to install the low leveling system to level the vehicle out. We distributed 600 pounds throughout the vehicle to simulate loads like a roof rack, a tent, or even a spare tire. Start by securely lifting your vehicle. We're gonna start by removing the OEM bump stop. That means we're gonna remove these two 12 millimeter bolts. Use a pull jack or jack stands to support your rear axle. Remove the 17 millimeter nut for your sway bar link. Repeat this process on the other side. Remove your sway bar end link. Remove the 17 millimeter at the bottom of your shock. After the bolts have been removed, remove the shock from the rear axle. Lower your rear axle. Once the load has been removed from the spring, take the spring out. Now we can assemble our new bump stops. With the bump stops assembled, install them on the vehicle and install your upper adapter plate. Secure the upper adapter by tightening the 219 provided. Install your lower perch adapter, then install your lower perch. Install your spring. Install your lower shock mount. Once your lower shock mount is installed, you can reinstall the 17 millimeter bolt and tighten it. After both of the springs are installed, you can reinstall your sway bar end links. Reinstall the 17 millimeter nut for your sway bar end link. Now that our install is complete, we're gonna lower the vehicle and check our ride heights. Now we're gonna adjust our low leveling system to the highest setting, put the vehicle back on the ground, scrub it, and adjust our Pro Truck Coil over 2.0 accordingly. We're gonna take measurements at the lower perch and adjust to the maximum height. Use one tool to prevent rotation and use the other tool to adjust. With the low leveling system set to maximum height, we're gonna lower the vehicle and see how it looks. Just to recap, we've added 600 pounds of weight throughout the rear of the vehicle, installed our load leveling system, set our load leveling system to its maximum height, and found that the vehicle was level. For more information on our load leveling system, visit iBox.com or give us a call. And don't forget to like and subscribe.